Let's talk a little bit about the anatomy of a neuron. Now, neurons in general have three important components. The first component is what is known as the cell body or the soma. Now, the cell body, for lack of a better term, is really the brain of the neuron. It contains the nucleus, which contains all of the genetic information that ultimately gives rise to proteins that help the rest of the neuron perform all of its various functions. Now, off of that cell body come two important things. The first thing is known as the axon. And the axon can be long or short, but it's the part of the neuron that sends information away from the cell body towards other neurons, allowing it to communicate. Off of the other end of the neuron are processes known as dendrites. Now, dendrites are important in receiving information from other neurons, axons, that basically connect to those dendrites and allow the uh, adjacent neurons to communicate with one another. Now what I want to do now is zoom in on one of those axon dendrite connections and talk a little bit about what actually happens there. That point where the axon of one neuron, known as the presynaptic cell, connects with the dendrite of a, uh, another neuron known as the postsynaptic cell is an area called the synaptic cleft. Now the synaptic cleft is the point where all the magic of neuronal uh, communication occurs. And what happens is the axon, after receiving an electrical impulse known as an action potential, comes down and releases neurotransmitter into the synaptic cleft. Neurotransmitters can be various chemicals in the brain that ultimately diffuse across that space, uh, bind to receptors on the postsynaptic neuron's dendrites, at that point, various channels open up and allow electrical uh, ions such as sodium and potassium to flow in or out of the cell. And that is how communication between, neur between neurons takes place. That's the basic introduction to the anatomy of a neuron. Uh, I hope it's been uh, informative.